How you doing, Bump? All right, Rick. Nice to meet you. And you, mate. Uh, where did the name come from, Bump? So when Mum was pregnant, she had a bump, and my brother goes, "That's my little bump." <laughs> like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, no. Stuck so, ever uh, since. Thirty-six years deep, yeah. Yeah, mate. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, you've come down in your uh, Mark One Ford Fiesta. Yeah, Super Sport. Super Sport. Yeah. And um, so this is the first ever Ford Fiesta, basically, yeah. Yeah, it's the first shape yeah, of the yeah. Fiesta. I think my, yeah. I think my dad had one. I think my uncle had one. Man, I, you know what? I don't know much history on it. Uh, but do you want to go in? So how old is it? Uh, I think 38 years now. 38 years. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So this could be possibly the oldest car on the channel. Possibly. Yeah. yeah it could be. Could be. Yeah. But mate, the condition looks really, really nice. Do you want to go into some history? You've had this in the house for quite a long time. Yeah. You? It's been in my family since the early 90s. My dad brought it for my sister as a second car. Um, she obviously used it for a good few amount of years, and my brothers used it. I remember getting picked up from primary school in it. Wow, that is awesome. Yeah. Man. And the car's still here, man. Yeah. Jeez. Still here. It'd be here till I'm gone, and my little boy will have it after me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, after time went on, everyone lost interest, parked it up, and as Fords do, they rust away. Obviously, I had a few motors then, sold them, put, plowed the money into this, welding it up, and Wicked. doing all things like that, getting it roadworthy again. So, so um, what was the original engine size? 1.3. 1.3. Yeah. And what does a Super Sport even mean? Is that like the, you know, is that is that the best version of this Fiesta, or was it just? I think it's the best version. Obviously, yeah. you had the XR2, you had um, like 1300 Sport, um, you had the gears. Uh, yeah, they sort of just brought it out to rival the XR2, really. Mm -hmm. But it obviously had a smaller engine, but yeah. come with all sort of the same body styling, but different wheels and so obviously is this the how, stickers. Is this how it came from the factory with these stickers? With as the well? stickers, yep, yeah, and the body wicked. kit. And you say it was an additional fee for to get it in black, black as well? Yes, factory, they've yeah? done it in red, white, and silver. Okay, yeah, I yeah. remember the silver. Yeah. Did they just have the little holes in the wheels, innit? Okay. Yeah, that was the XR2 with the pet okay. pots. The these wheel, what's going on with these? Because they look really nice. Like, yeah, they're, they're revolution, yeah, revolution RFXs they are. I've wanted them ever since I see them. They're an old school wheel. Yeah. I see some bloke had them on his Mark III Fiesta. Mm. I had to pull him over and yeah. basically done a trade with the wheels I had on it. He thought he was getting robbed as well, didn't Yeah, he? he thought he was getting robbed. He went, <laughs> then I literally pulled Stormed in front of him, him yeah. yeah. And, uh, Shouted at him through his window. But, Give him um, the fucking wheels. Yeah. <laughs> he uh, texted me in there. We come up with a deal and I got them on. Yeah, they I look, love them. They look factory, man. Like, yeah, yeah, they, they do look nice. Part, I think they suit it to a T. What, are they 13 inch? 13 inch, yeah. yeah. And uh, these cars are light, obviously. The cars, yeah, probably, what, 800 yeah. kilos? You 800 said? kilos, I reckon. Yeah. I've never had it weighed, yeah. um, but I reckon it's probably max 800 kilos. Yeah. Yeah. So these are just, everyone loves these cars, isn't it? You must get yeah. a lot of attention. Yeah, right? everyone's always yeah. asked. As soon as you pull up, yeah. everyone says they used to have one or ain't seen one for years. Yeah. So I went to the juicy stuff. You've actually yep. had an engine swap in here, haven't you? Yeah, it's got two litres E-Tec turbo in it. Two litres, oh, geez. And what, pushing? I reckon about 200, 225 maybe. Yeah. And 800 kilos. Yes, that's a pretty good power to work. Though, yeah, so. it, um, don't drive straight. <laughs> a lot of talks yeah. to you, yeah? Yeah, a lot of talks to yeah. you. And yeah. obviously front wheel drive. Front wheel drive, yeah. yeah. When does power kick in? Uh, boost comes in at three grand on this. So you say it's from a Mondeo? Yeah, Mondeo. Yeah, I literally just uh, put a decomp plate in it. 
So yeah. it's a totally standard engine, rods mm -hmm. and pistons wise. Mm -hmm. Put a decomp plate in it with two head gaskets, sort of the cheap way around it. Literally done the whole conversion on my drive, he come around, wired it up, and then wheels away. Sweet, man. Yeah. So uh, open diff, no LED? Yeah, open diff. Open diff, yeah? Yeah. It could do with like, a nice quay for something, but mm. it's quite a lot of money, and I'd rather put money into how it looks and sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. What about gearbox and clutch? Gearbox is out of a Mark 6 Escort, Mark 5, Mark 6. Um, it's got CG Motorsport four paddle clutch. Okay. Um, yeah. Brakes and suspension. Brakes are off a uh, XR2. Um, it's got SPAX adjustables on it. Mm -hmm. um, just non, non coilovers, but I'm going to change the front to coilovers. Yeah. Uh, we'll standard see. rear drums, obviously. Okay. They work good enough, they lock up. I yeah. think the car looks wicked, man. Honestly, like yeah. this generation of cars was definitely the best. Like, not this generation, but I mean, just this era of, of cars, yeah, should I, I say. So. Like, it's just another level, isn't it? Look at that, man. Like, that's just unreal. Like, imagine that looks sick now. Imagine what it was like back then. Like, back then, yeah. Do you know what that's I mean? it. That is, yeah. Like, you know. When, you, when you're driving it about, everyone loves it. That, that's what I want from a car now. I want this kind of aggression, this kind of, you know. Uh, sharp sort of edges to it, you know. Yeah. Uh, they're too round nowadays. Yeah, that's they? it. They all sort of look the same, don't they? Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? You can't. Daily. Not daily. I used to use it as a daily. Mm. Um, but not anymore. Nah, I've got a, got a BM now, so I use that as a daily. Good. <laughs> and uh, all right, so it's uh, stripped as well. You've got the Recaro yeah. buckets, and uh, what is that? A fuel pump in the rear as well? Yeah, we've got fuel pump, swell pot. Um, then I've got another fuel pump underneath, which obviously fills your swell pot up. Yeah. And what's that? You do a bit of track as well, don't you? So yeah, I'll go on track with it um, at Ford Fair and Classic yeah. Ford Show. I like to go on track and just yeah. have a play. But I mean, after the first sort of corner or two corners, the brakes are toast and yeah. you don't really like stopping after that because there are only tiny little brakes yeah. on it. And yeah. you imagine going quite fast, so yeah. they just heat up really quick. Okay. I could put 15s on it to put bigger brakes, but it just wouldn't look the same. Is that half cage, yeah? Yeah, half cage. Got a crossbar welded in it. Yeah. Um, also, I'm gonna. I want to do a full cage in it because they need stiffening up yeah dangerous uh, yeah it's yeah i mean if you have accident this you're gonna yeah gonna i think yeah there's nothing there's no structural sort of strength mm. to them at all all right should we jump up yeah 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 let's go yeah let's do it man, yeah, man. Left it at that really, it's been driving. 
you say 200, 225 Yeah, something like that, I reckon. Yeah. Just sort of guesstimates of what sort of the same setup my friends have had. Yeah, it's not bad over the road as well, is it? No, it's not too bad. I did soften up the rear shocks this morning because they yeah. were on um, quite stiff. No power steering? No, nah, man. They came with four speeds originally. Yeah. Um, and you have to do quite a uh, modifications to the inner wheel arch yeah. to fit the five speed in and that. I had it done, but yeah, I'd say the ratio is really short because of the little wheels. You should right, have yeah. 15, like this gearbox, come out of the car with 15 inch wheels. Oh, yeah, yeah, what was the effect that? I forgot yeah. That. if somebody offered you nah, money? Nah, no, I'd never said it. I couldn't, don't get me wrong, this car, my dream car's out there, Yeah. but I couldn't see someone else driving it. Uh, my little boy wants it when he's old enough, if it's still in one piece, yeah. you know. Have you ever taken on any like long trips, seen what the fuel's like? And uh, plus what fuel tank, I bet. Tiny fuel tank. So what's the plans with the car? Any, any more mods or? Um, Power-wise, I'm happy with what it is. It doesn't need to be no faster, really. Uh, you, you always chase power. If you go for more, you always want more, you know? But I just want to tidy up the outside, really. Bodywork, I always want to freshen it all up. It's been painted about 10 years now. I keep it outside, you know, under a cover and that. It won't help it, but, and I use it a lot. I try to use it a lot, shall I say. Yeah, boy. First time driving one of these. <laughs> Oh jeez, man, that throws itself forward, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, nice, yeah, yeah. Well, wow, that's gliding nicely, man. Yeah. yeah you could easily daily it. Yeah? You could, you yeah. Drive. I reckon if you've got some more, the seats are quite comfy, they're not too yeah. bad. You could get more comfier ones in it. Yeah, very low to the ground, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I really like the throttle, you know. Um, what car was it I got into? Uh, it was the Astra. Yeah. The Astra I got into, like, for its age, yeah. It drove so modern. Yeah. This feels very modern as well. Yes, yeah, it's, it's alright. I mean, I've got into some older cars and they're like ridiculously hard to drive. But yeah, clutch is nice and light. The wheel's reasonably light as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is to be fair. Once you get going, definitely need to feel some boost. What do you do for maintenance? Change your oil, put fuel in it. Yourself? Yeah. Was it a big job to get the engine in? Um, no. You had to, I had to weld in an extra engine mount. Not an extra mount, I had to re-weld the engine mount, shall I say, yeah. in a different position. I mean, and the five-speed conversion was already done. I've done that like previous with the old engines. How about the um, wiring loom? Wiring loom, I didn't do that. My mate done that because I just caused a fire. Nice as well, it does like. Man, a bit of toxin. <laughs> Nathan's first time 
last time in the passenger, I've been pulling yeah. any awkward faces. <laughs> Look at that fourth gear, man, plenty of torque. As you slow down, that wheel gets so heavy. Yeah. Guys, I'm like tapping the throttle at four. Yeah, that's a satisfying power, you know? Because you're so low down as well, it just yeah. feels even quicker. But look at that top. <laughs> as soon as you let off the throttle, it really backs off. Yeah. Feels like you've got a lot of power. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of the easiest cars to drive, you know? That I'll yeah. get it, yeah. Down as well, really. <laughs> I like this a lot, you know that. It's good enough, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, honestly. Bigger brakes and LSD and yeah. a bit more power. I mean, not too much, but. Not too much, yeah. Just a little bit. First second limit up to here. Yeah? Yeah, go. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> no, it's wicked. Is it tuned, the actual engine, or is it just stock? Nah, it's stock. Stock engine? Stock, yeah, it's stock. tuned it? Well, it's just, well, it just my mates sorted the map out. You know what, I am definitely converted now to the, to the old school. Like, I've always appreciated them, but I'm like fully sold. Fully yeah. sold on the old school. I love my modern cars as well, don't get me wrong, I probably will still own modern cars. Oh yeah. Oh man. Alright Nathan man, I'm going to end the video there. Thank you oh, so mate. much for you know giving me this experience. Um, right. Shout out to your son Jack, if you're watching, your dad's got a sick motor as well. <laughs> <laughs> we and um, yeah, do you want to plug your social media? Do you have any social? No, nah, no, nah, I'm all. No, nah, nah. no social. Top secret. Top secret. Yeah. Man. Best way man, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.